New at 5.30, for the first time, we're seeing the dramatic video of a crash that nearly killed a little boy when his father's car was hit and sent rolling into a canal. Our Fallon Silcox is live in St. Petersburg with the very latest on this. Fallon? I just spoke with the woman who was cited for that crash, her sister. She says she blacked out behind the wheel, causing that chain reaction crash, sending two cars right here into this canal. You can go ahead and take a look. Brace yourself for a crash. Well, it's pretty horrific. I mean, seeing that I see these kids walk every day to school. Michael's home surveillance cameras captured this Tuesday afternoon. You can see Terry Dennehy's SUV speeding into the car in front of her, sending William Batchelor's car rolling into the canal, trapping one of his sons inside underwater, rescued by onlookers just in the nick of time. It's a pretty significant event. It doesn't look like a 25 mile an hour crash to me. We showed this video to Jeff Armstrong, a forensic engineer. After analyzing the footage, Armstrong says it's clear that there's some level of inattention, which Dennehy's sister says was caused by a heart condition that made her black out behind the wheel. It's the first one with enough energy that it pushes it into the curb. It's able to roll over and go into the canal. It hits the other cars, pushes them significantly, then still has enough momentum left over that it jumps the curb, rolls down the hill, and, and into the canal itself. Dennehy is charged with careless driving, and St. Pete police are still investigating. Armstrong says he'd be interested in seeing if Dennehy's car has a black box data recorder, because these last few seconds could tell a lot. Somebody ought to download that because it'll tell us important information about where the brakes applied, where seat belts in use. And how fast was that vehicle going the last few seconds before the crash? Dennehy is at home recuperating right now. Her sister says she's undergoing various medical tests to try to determine exactly what may have caused her to black out. Now, her children were with her in the car at the time of the crash. They're all doing okay, though. Live in St. Pete, I'm Fallon Silcox, ABC Action News.